While it's usually not possible to get the IRS to let you off scot-free if you owe big tax debts, there are some unique circumstances where you might be able to qualify for an IRS program called an Offer in Compromise, also known as an OIC, where the IRS grants you the right to pay less than you owe. But there are some rules and some myths. To start with, an OIC is an agreement between you and the IRS that lets you settle your debt for an amount lower than what you really owe. However, this is not something everyone can just take advantage of. And there's a specific set of criteria that must be met in order to qualify for an OIC. The first thing you need to know, an OIC should be considered only when all other payment options have been assessed and exhausted. And there are many of those that are easy to qualify for, including an installment agreement. Check out our other video on that topic. The next thing you need to know, the IRS will determine if you qualify for an OIC after looking at your assets, your ability to pay, your income, and your expenses. If you can demonstrate that you financially, and by financially I mean provide proof with records and a detailed financial position that you're unable to pay in full, or at least prove that giving all of your money over for taxes will lead to severe financial hardship, then the IRS might agree to an OIC. But to be clear, to get the IRS to take less, you must prove you cannot pay. If you have a house, savings, a retirement plan, earnings, or several of these, you generally cannot take advantage of an OIC. And lastly, if you're involved in open bankruptcy proceedings, you're generally ineligible for an OIC. Also, you must file all your tax returns that are due or past due and pay all estimated tax payments for the current year. In short, you must be current on all your tax filings and your payments. So your first step is to get current and then show you're in trouble, real trouble financially. An OIC application with outstanding and unfiled tax returns simply will not work. But if you're suffering economic hardship and approved for an OIC, the IRS will calculate an OIC payment formula based on your leftover monthly income after your allowed expenses, plus any equity available from your assets. Then you'll pick your payment schedule, which can either be a lump sum payment or monthly payments. And at the end of the day, an offering compromise is only available to those in very unique situations and who are economically in trouble. Although these days that's more common than in the last few years. But it's not just a quick call over to the IRS, make a 25% offer of the taxes you owe and get them to accept it. Finally, the IRS can take up to six months or more to arrive at a final decision. And if your offer is rejected, you'll have 30 days to appeal the decision and try again. Tax debts, back taxes, your options and your rights are usually complex issues, and it's important to work with a tax pro with experience. Schedule a free consultation with our Tax Debt Resolution Services team on jacksonhewitt.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more tax tips.